Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Section we will quickly look at some of the diseases in humans uh, which are caused due to various viruses. Now, how is it important? Because uh, many a times from NEAT exam perspective, many a times questions are asked from various diseases and you are asked to name the pathogen that is the microorganism which caused that disease. The specific name of that particular virus. You are also asked sometimes the name of the vaccine or whether vaccine is available for that disease or not. So let us quickly have a look at the list of all the viral diseases in humans. So we will start with influenza which is also known as flu. So it is caused by the pathogen orthomyxovirus and the infection, how does the infection spread? It spreads through droplets and the vaccine is available which is called influenza vaccine. Smallpox, uh, the path, it has now, however now it has already been eradicated but the first vaccine for smallpox was discovered by Edward Jenner in 1798 and even after that it took long time for the disease to be eradicated but finally it was eradicated in 1977 so that was the year when the last case of smallpox was identified. So this is caused by a virus called variola virus and the infection spreads either by direct contact with the patient or uh, by droplet infection. Uh, Chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster pathogen or virus varicella zoster virus and for this also you have a vaccine called varicella vaccine and the mode of infection for chickenpox is also the same. Measles is caused by rubiola virus. Here also the infection is through droplet infection. Uh, the vaccine which is available is MMR vaccine. So measles is also known as the rubiola disease because it is caused by the rubiola virus. Polio which is also called poliomyelitis. So that's just another name of polio. So what happens in polio, the uh, skeletal muscles of the person gets affected. So it's basically a paralysis of the skeletal muscles and therefore the person doesn't walk normally. It is caused by enterovirus and the infection spreads through faecal oral route. So uh, infection is there in the feces and when this reaches the person either in the form of food or any other contamination that spreads the infection. So the vaccine which is available for this is uh, the Salk vaccine is available, the Sabin vaccine is also available. So these are the two vaccines which are available for polio. Rabies, uh, the pathogen is rabies virus. It spreads by dog bite. So not any dog's bite, but the rabid dog bite. Now here, uh, this, this disease is also known as hydrophobia because in rabies, the patient develops great fear for water. So hydrophobia, hydro is water, phobia is fear. So fear of water is called hydrophobia. That is why rabies is also known as hydrophobia. Now it is very important that whenever a person uh, is bitten by a rabid dog, the wound must be immediately washed with soap just to, you know, at least reduce the extent of infection. Dengue fever is caused by the pathogen Flavi ribovirus and the infection spreads by the bite of the mosquito Aedes aegypti. So when this mosquito bites a person, then the infection spreads from one person to another. Dengue is also known as break bone fever. Break bone fever. Chikungunya is another disease which spreads through mosquitoes. In fact, the same mosquito, Aedes aegypti, the same mosquito's bite can cause either dengue or chikungunya. Here the pathogen is chikungunya virus. Swine flu. Now, if you remember a couple of years ago, uh, it, it was there all over in the media, in newspaper, in television channels that swine flu is you know spreading everywhere and a lot of people are also dying because of swine flu so this swine flu was uh, caused because of h1n1 virus which is a triple reassorted flu virus and the infection had spread through the swine the pigs and the vaccine which was available was h1n1 vaccine now in a similar way let us quickly look at the bacterial diseases in humans 
so the previous list was all about the viral diseases diseases caused by virus here we will look at the diseases caused by bacteria so we'll start with cholera which is caused by the bacteria named vibrio cholera uh, the infection spreads through feces oral route so that means the infection actually lies in the feces of the patient which might Uh, get transmitted to the food of other people uh, through some vectors maybe through some insects or some other tiny organisms vaccine is available for cholera that is cholera vaccine diphtheria is caused by corini bacterium diphtheria infection spreads through droplet infection and the vaccine which is available is dpt vaccine now dpt stands for diphtheria pertussis tetanus so this stands for diphtheria pertussis tetanus in fact the same vaccine is useful to prevent tetanus as well so this is like one vaccine for all the three of them next is typhoid now typhoid is also known as enteric fever So here it is caused by the pathogen Salmonella typhi the infection spreads through feces oral route the vaccine which is available for typhoid is typhoid vaccine next is tetanus so tetanus is also called lock jaw because in tetanus the jaws get kind of locked so proper movement of the jaws are not possible that's why it is called lock jaw disease so here uh, the infection spreads through the wound like whenever you get now have you seen that normally when you get impact uh, when you get hurt with any old uh, rusted metal object what happens the doctors generally advise you to take the tetanus injection so that tetanus injection is nothing but it is like a vaccine which prevents tetanus taking place in that person so this vaccine is dpt which is diphtheria pertussis tetanus vaccine and this prevents uh, the disease to happen in that particular person tb that is tuberculosis so tuberculosis is also known as koch's disease after the name of the scientist koch uh, pathogen is mycobacterium tuberculosis infection through droplet and the vaccine which is used for tuberculosis is bcg vac- vaccine what is bcg this is b stands for bacillus c stands for calmet and g stands for urine anthrax is caused by bacillus anthracis the infection spreads through the spores of this bacteria bacillus anthracis and there is a vaccine available called anthrax vaccine pneumonia is caused by streptococcus pneumonia uh, infection happens through this patient sputum sputum is nothing but uh, a mixture of saliva and mucus like when we cough Uh, a liquid comes out of our mouth right when you cough too much so basically that liquid which comes from your respiratory tract that's mucus mixed with saliva forms the sputum so the pneumonia spreads from one person to another through the sputum bubonic plague is caused by yersenia pestis the infection spreads through the rat flea so what are what are flea flea are small wingless jumping insects so these insects are seen on rats and these insects you know kind of spread this disease from rats to even human beings however there is a vaccine available called anti plague vaccine plague is also known as black death now a couple of years ago again uh, plague has resulted in huge number of deaths of people Gonorrhea is caused by the pathogen Neisseria gonorrhoeae. It is a sexually transmitted disease. It is STD. Therefore, it spreads through sexual contact. Now, again, from examination point of view, it is important to remember the names of the diseases, their causal organisms, their symptoms, uh, how the uh, the mode of infection happens, and what are the vaccines available. So, they are important from an examination point of view. also it is important to remember which are the con- confirmatory tests for different diseases in humans like 
how do you know like let's say that having fever or vomiting might be a common symptom for a lot of diseases but how does a do doctor diagnose whether the patient is suffering from typhoid or cholera or malaria so how does the doctor confirm that so for that the doctor writes a couple of blood tests to you so looking at those blood tests the doctor confirms which disease has actually happened right so let us look at some of the confirmatory tests for diseases so for cervical cancer the confirmatory test is pap test or pap smear test for aids it is pcr that is <coughs> polymerase chain reaction or elisa so here elisa stands for enzyme linked immuno sorbent array so elisa is a confirmatory test for aids acquired immune deficiency syndrome which uh, for which the causal organism is hiv virus and it is caused by sexual contact so it is a sex sexually transmitted disease next is genital herpes so genital herpes again is a, a disease of the genital parts and for this also the confirmatory test is pcr that is polymerase chain reaction uh, dengue fever the confirmatory test is tourniquet for diphtheria it is shick test for syphilis it is wasserman test as well as vdrl for typhoid it is vedel test this is very important this is often asked in exams also what which is the confirmatory test for typhoid plague it is wason stain for leprosy it is lepromin skin test for scarlet fever it is dick test and for tb that is tuberculosis it is mantox test so this is so there's nothing much to explain or understand in any of these you just uh, it is good th that you remember the names of these test and you remember that this test is for which disease so that might be helpful for you from examination point of view thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you